So news just came out that the Packers have signed cornerback Elijah Hamilton. It was shared. He shared a post on his Instagram that he has been signed by the Packers. And if we look a little bit at Elijah Hamilton, he went undrafted in 2022 as a cornerback, spent a little bit of time with the Miami Dolphins, was then released before the 2022 NFL season. Then he actually spent time in the XFL with the uh, the team in St. Louis, the St. Louis Battlehawks. He played in eight games, started in three of them, and he had 13 tackles in his time with um, the St. Louis Battlehawks in the XFL. A little bit more about him. He's 6'2", 212 pounds. And something very interesting I saw when researching him is that apparently his dad, Ruffin Hamilton, was actually a player on the Packers back in 1994. He was a six-round draft pick in 94 by the Packers and spent one season with the Packers, and so now he's coming here to Green Bay. And the Packers must like something in him to bring him in here to Green Bay. And it's a pretty loaded cornerback room. You already have 10 other cornerbacks, and I do wonder if signing him on will mean the Packers will release maybe one of those guys who was further down the depth chart, so we'll have to sort of keep an eye on that one. And now let me share a couple quotes from... Elijah Hamilton himself on the kind of player he sees himself as. So this was on NFL Draft Diamonds. They did an interview with him before the draft back in, I think, March of 2022. And so uh, he says this, I'm a six foot two defensive back with 4.3 speed that can cover and tackle, but most importantly, I can come in and immediately make an impact on special teams. A lot of teams will be looking for defensive backs with my size, speed, and coverage ability, but where I separate from other DBs in my class is my special teams play and I'll let what they see in my film speak to that. He was then asked, if you could sell yourself in one sentence, what would you say? He said this, I'll just say it would be foolish not to draft a 6'2 lockdown defensive back that can run with anyone and that wants to play special teams. So we're going to have to see if the Packers decide to, you know, what happens here with him with the Packers because the odds of him, I think, cracking the 53-man roster after not being here aren't very high, but clearly the Packers brought him in for for some reason. Maybe they see the potential and want to see maybe in the final preseason game if he can do anything. Uh, Maybe they're going to sit some of these corners in this next preseason game and they want to have some more depth here. Maybe they want to try to get him on the practice squad. Who knows? So we'll see there. Just wanted to share that news and a little bit of a background information on you know exactly the kind of player he is. So if you guys want to stay up to date with all things Packers, feel free to subscribe down below and I'll see you guys next time.